Okay. Curtis, okay, obviously it's the first time we've had a chance to speak to you since the Spurs game. I just wondered now how frustrating it's been, obviously serving the suspension, but also how you look back at that red card now. Uh, yeah, you know, it'd been tough. Um, I was at a point where, you know, I was playing games, um, I was doing well. Um, and then a small mistake like that, you know, it stops the run runner games. Uh, but, you know, that's in the past now. Um, I've moved on, I've got a chance now to, to play games again, so now I'm just excited. Do you have any complaints over it? Because you're a bit unfortunate, really, with the way the foot went over the ball, aren't you? Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Um, in terms of the, the the tackle itself and how I see and seeing it at the end of the game, you know, I was unfortunate. Um, but then I seen what 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 the referee was showing. He was only showing the clip of where my foot was on his leg. Um, so it's understandable at the same time. Um, but yeah, as I said, I've moved on past that. Now I'm excited for for the next games that are coming up. Obviously, this season as well, it's a completely different midfield. So I just wonder how you compare the competition for places, but also how you compare it into the, the kind of role that you're being asked to play within that midfield now. Um, it's Liverpool at the end of the day. So, you know, the, the, the competition is always tough. Um, you know, I came around a team when I was 17 and the competition then was Juan Aldum, H Henderson, um, he was cater along the way, there was Chamberlain, so it's always been a world-class team. Um, I'm at the point now to where, you know, it's changed a bit, there's, there's, there's younger lads in there, um, it's, it's freshened up, it's changed around, but again, you know, it's the same, it's still going to be a centre mid to where, you know, if you're playing well, then of course, you know, you, you, you're keeping your place, and if not, then of course it's going to get changed changed around, so, you know, the, the, the competition is good, it's healthy, um, and we're bonding well as a team, so it's the important thing. And up until the international break now, it's uh, midweek, weekend, midweek, weekend, week, midweek, weekend. Um, so I just wonder, is it still one competition, one game at a time, or is there any thought to carry momentum into that international break? Because immediately after, it is, of course, Manchester City. It's each game is a time, I'd say. Um, of course, you know, there'll be times when, you know, we're changing a team around. Um, but you know, the lads that and that and that are coming into the team for the competitions, um, you, you know, we're we we're, we're doing a job in each uh, in each game. You know, the Premier League team is not going to be the exact same team as the competition here, and it's not going to be the same as the cup games. Um, but you know, as the fans and that have seen, you know, if we change the team around, we can still win games. So that's the important thing. So well, cheers, Bob. Hi, Curtis. Um, you had to endure quite a, a long and difficult spell where it was seemingly one injury after another. The final third of last season, you came into the team and, and made a really big impact. Thank you. And started this season similarly, and, and you've kept your place maybe when some people were thinking all these new midfielders have come in at great cost. What's enabled you to get back to your really best form? As you were saying there, you, you know, I had a time where I was off it. I think it was... 15 weeks or something um, and it was the hunger I had in me to, to come back and play at uh, the time you know that and that I was out uh, the team were in this best phase or spell you can say um, so you know there was times when when you know I was at home or I was at the stadium um, and I seen a chance to where you know I can come in the team and I can actually help, help out the team so I just worked hard um, my mind frame changed and matured as well, you know, over the time when when I was out, um, and I came back and I just said, there, you know, I helped the team. Um, I was fortunate enough to, to help with goals and assist. Um, but more importantly, was was I just need the games. Um, there been a time when you know I was out for for a while, then I came back, then I might have had like two or three games, then I was out the team again. Um, but you know, the the most important thing that and that I had there at the end of the se season was you know I was playing just game after game after game. Competition for places at a club you mentioned before. You're at Liverpool, so there is going to be a lot of competition, but lots of money spent on on midfielders during the summer. How does that work? We know the phrase competition for places, but but how does that work? on a day-to-day -day basis, on a match-to-match -match basis, where, as you mentioned before, sometimes you come in for a game or two, then you're left out? Um, I think it's as simple as, you know, if you play well, then you keep your place. 
um, and the club here, you know, the, you know, if I'm not playing well, they can change the team around. If Dom isn't playing, they can change him. If whoever isn't having a good game, you know, they can always change. Um, that's just the club here. Um, it's a world class club, you know, it attracts lads who want to co come and play, you know, it attracts the best ones. Um, so, you know, you've got a squad for, um, full of lads who can change a game. Then if one isn't having a good game, you're just going to get changed around. And that's just what it is. OK, thank you. Paul Joyce. Uh, yeah, we're just more just, you know, I came in a team. So, you know, I, I, so as an academy kid, I was always a kid who jumped up the age groups. Um, and then I came in the first team and I kind of felt like I hit a wall. I couldn't really take the next step. Um, so it was more just, just going over my game and just seeing where, you know, the, the, the improvements were. I've always been a lad to, to come in a team. I just wanted to go and score goals and pick, and, and pick up the ball and run, you know, with the ball and stuff. Um, is that the point to where then I learned, OK, there's more? That and, that and that the gaffer and the staff want. Um, so, you know, I've came back now and the fans are all saying, saying about how I go and press and things like that. I've never been a kid who thought about to, to, to be the first one to go and press or to try and run the most. Um, so I've added that and that in my game. Um, so now I'm just trying to work on just the overall pattern, package and playing. And um, yeah, I've still got a a lot of things to into their lane, but I'm getting there. How, how did the under-21s help your mindset in the summer? Because you, you were one of the best players then, and do you have future ambitions for the senior squad, even though it's tough competition? Yeah, 100%. I mean, it helped loads. Uh, you know, again, the, and the coaching staff there and the, play, and the players helped me. Um, but yeah, it was more just the run at the end of the season that I had. I came in a team, um, I scored goals, I was assisting. Um, I would play, I think it was like 12 games. Um, so, you know, I came in, I had a buzz about, about me um, and the staff and the play, and players and that knew and I just had the confidence and stuff. So I was winning there, it was myself. Um, and yeah, you know, I was fortunate enough to, to make the team of the tournament and I actually scored the goal apparently. Uh, well, I got the goal, um, so yeah, it was a good to tournament, so I was carrying on the phone. Mia Jones. You obviously captain the team recently, You've, I know you did it when you were very young yeah. against uh, Shrewsbury, but tell, talk about that feeling and the responsibility that that brings with it. Um, it's a tough one, if I'm honest, uh, because I've always been the young, younger kid, as they said, um, but I'm at the point now to where, you know, there's kids that, that are coming in now and I'm kind of having a, co a conversation with them that I was having with like a Hendo or a Milner and even like a Trent. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, it's just about the point of just helping out the kids as well. So I think, yeah, it's good to, and to have the armband on me and, you know, the fans and the TV stuff can see, OK, he's captain, but um, every time at the training ground, they always try and just be, and be a leader in my own way. For what the seniors? Yeah. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Um, I say all the time, you know, if you're playing well, then of course you you deserve a chance. Um, but I don't look that and that 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 far ahead. I just know, you know, if I'm playing games here and you know, and I'm playing well and I'm scoring goals, that will take care of itself. Definitely. Um, Curtis, you mentioned about like the fans and um, like seeing things about yourself. Do you pay attention to much of the no. criticism now? Nah. No. I couldn't care if I'm honest. I just know it's part of the game. You know, it's going to be times when you're having a good game and everyone's going to be saying he's this, he's that, he's the next this, he's, you know what I mean? And if you're having a bad game or you have had a bad game, um, the fans are going to have the other side, you know what I mean? So I just know it's part of the game. It doesn't phase me. I'm a scouser. It's, you know, we're, we're, we're used to, you know, the bad part of things. Um, it doesn't phase me. Nah, I'm good. David Anderson, last one. Have you, what have you learned from the new guys who've come in? I mean, the big office is going to turn over in the summer, but it's not anything you can pinpoint, 
Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't just say it's them. I'd say it's the whole of the team. Example, you know, I can talk about Mo. Um, there's times in the games when, you know, he's not really doing a lot in the game, but he will go and score. Do you know what I mean? So he's staying involved in the game and, you know, you might think he's not as lively as he is, but his man is always, OK, I'm going to get the goal for the team, this and that. And then, of course, you know, if you can speak and speak about the lads that have, you know, have came in, um, McAllister, I'll speak on him. I mean, he comes in and how he protects the ball is just, I've never seen him before. They like, can receive the ball and does this thing where like he sticks his bum out a little bit and you can't take the ball from him. So I'm thinking like, it just his experience in terms of like, he knows when he's going to get pressed and which way he moves and stuff. Um, and then if you want me to speak about Dom, I think he's of all seen, you know, his goals that he scored. He's got an unbelievable shot off both feet. Um, so yeah, I'm learning a lot of them. Um, they could probably say the same thing about me. Um, but it's, you know, again, as I'm saying, it's, you know, it's the whole the team. I learn off all the lads. Um, I'm just that type. Um, I came in the team when I'm young and there's been lads around who I know fully experienced have played 500 plus games. Um, so I'll always just try and take bits out of their game and I'll use them bits and we'll see how it works on me. Thank you so very, very much for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, drop a like. Uh, the season is now well underway. If you need extra Red Men content, be it podcasts, videos, documentaries, interviews, and general shows, fill your boots on redmenplus.com today.